Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to discuss remote work is here to stay, and can your home deliver the space you need? A lot has changed over the past year for many people. The rise in remote work influenced what they're looking for in a home and created a greater appetite for a dedicated home office. Some professionals took advantage of the situation and purchased a bigger home. Other people thought working from home would be temporary, so they chose to get creative and make the space they already had work for them. But recent headlines indicate working from home isn't a passing fad. If you're still longing for a dedicated home office, now may be the time to find the home that addresses your evolving needs. More and more companies are delaying their plans to return to the office. Others are deciding to remain fully remote permanently. According to economics from Goldman Sachs in a recent article from CNN, quote, job ads increasingly offer remote work and surveys indicate that both workers and employers expect work from home to remain much more common than before the pandemic. Other experts agree a survey conducted by Upwork of 1,000 hiring managers found that due to the pandemic, companies were planning more remote work now and in the years to come. Upwork elaborates, quote, the number of remote workers in the next five years is expected to be nearly double what it was before COVID-19. By 2025, 36.2 million Americans will be remote, an increase of 16.8 million people from pre pandemic rates. Here's a chart that breaks down findings and compare pre and post pandemic percentages. How does this impact homeowners? If you own a home, it's important to realize that continued remote work may give you opportunities you didn't realize you had. Since you don't need to be tied to a specific area for your job, you have more flexibility when it comes to where you can live. If you're one of the nearly 23% of workers who will remain 100% remote, you have the option to move to a lower cost of living area or to a location of your dreams. If you search for a home in a more affordable area, you'll be able to get more home for your money, freeing up more options for your dedicated office space and additional breathing room. You could also move to a location where you've always wanted to live, somewhere near the beach, the mountains, or simply a market that features the kind of weather and community amenities you're looking for. Without your job tying you to a specific location, you're bound to find your ideal spot. If you're in one of the almost 15% of individuals who will have a partially remote or hybrid schedule, relocating within your local area to a home that's further away from your office could be a great choice. Since you won't be going into work every day, a slightly longer commute from a more suburban or rural neighborhood may be a worthy trade-off for a home with more features, space, and comforts. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. If ongoing remote work is changing what you need in a home, let's get together to find one that delivers on your new wish list. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.